Now he just went off the boundary and look, I just got a notice on my Apple Watch. Notification. Oh. We really want to keep track of Bo, but we don't want him running all the way out there. And that is in contact with satellites. And you use an app on your phone. You can draw a fence. And you can look at this. Mike set up a fence line for Bo with the county road up at the top. And it will even track him, showing me where he is. love camping and having Bo with us. We enjoy his companionship and he loves to run off leash and we like being having him be off leash. But sometimes you're in places where there are just dangers out there, things that could hurt him. So we love what we have found now, a virtual fence that uses satellites to keep him in a certain area. I'm going to tell you right from the start, this is an expensive gadget but not really when you stop and think what it will do. We have thought, for example, here on our Tennessee property where we have five acres and there's hollers and swamps and woods and sometimes snakes back there and there's coyotes and we really want to keep track of Bo, but we don't want him running all the way out there. Um, if we had put invisible fence in, you know, the wired stuff, it would be, it would be a fortune. Same thing with our Michigan property. Same thing with some of the boondocking areas uh, where we go and there's just uh, nothing but wilderness around us. How do we keep track of Bo? Well, that's where this, I'll say right off the beginning, right at the beginning, $1,500. That's what this costs. This is called the spot-on collar. It's the spot-on fence collar. Now, this is a satellite device. This thing right here uh, will always be fa facing up and that is in contact with satellites. And you use an app on your phone. You can draw a fence. You gotta have at least a half an acre uh, to cover for it to, to work. But um, in Michigan, we're gonna set it up uh, on 10 acres. Here in, uh, in Tennessee, we're gonna set it up for five acres. It's amazing, you can walk a fence line. You can walk the area you want your dog to go in. If he strays out of that, the spot-on fence will beep. Uh, it will also give him uh, a vibration if you want to set it that way. We found that the beeps alone will keep Bo in. This is such a game changer for bringing Bo. Here in Tennessee, uh, we're going to set this up right now and we're going to probably put a uh, spot-on fence for about three of the, um, of the five acres. And then we can let Bo out and not have to worry about it. Now this is all done with an app, the Spot On app. And you can look at this, Mike set up a fence line for Bo with the county road up at the top, and you can watch how he set this up. So, uh, you set the app and you hit start, hold this up to the sky, and start walking. Okay, I have the fence property set. The fence is property. There's the boundary that I have set. You can see it's a, it's a pretty big area. And along the front is uh, where we are right now. Okay, let's walk towards the boundary and see what happens. You hear that? A faint little beep that says he's getting close. Now if he keeps going closer, he hears that and he says, uh oh. And if he goes any further, now it's vibrating. Okay, Bo, stay here. Now, I know we're going to put this on you. Here we go. We're going to put this on so that you can have freedom and run around and have a really good time. Let's go see if we can make this thing go off. Boundaries over here. Now he just went off the boundary and look, I just got a notice on my Apple Watch notification. 
the boundary is about oh maybe 10 feet further from where he is but did you see how he stopped he stopped he's not going further in there that is awesome so when Bo gets right on the boundary like that it sends that alert and you can see it on the app right where he is but he did not go any further amazing whenever I do a refresh it will even show me where Bo happens to be at that precise time on the property. If he does break out of the fence line that we've set, I get an immediate alert on my smartphone and it will even track him, showing me where he is. Now, uh, the battery lasts pretty much all day. We can put it on him in the morning and let him out and uh, then we just charge it at night. It uh, doesn't take long to charge. Bo, you want to go? Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Here we go. Bo is a free dog. <laughs> now, did you see how he turned right around there? <laughs> He knows that if he goes any further than that, he's going to get a warning signal on the collar. Good boy, come on, Bo. We're gonna get that. Now I keep him out of some of the, the real thick stuff down in the hollers there at the back and the sides, but he's got uh, several acres that he can, he can be at and explore and sniff and stake out as his domain. And I don't have to worry about him getting to that road. There's no traffic on that road to speak of at all. But still, there's no guarantee their car's not coming. Uh, and I don't want him out in that road. The fence helps, but he can, you know, the, you can't fence the hollers around it. So he's pretty good. This is great. Look at he's able to walk all over and sniff his uh, his property, and he's happy to roll around in the pine needles. Doesn't get any better than that. So it is a big investment. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's fifteen hundred dollars and you can take it to different places, different states we have this set up. It is such peace of mind to know that Bo is in a confined area, that he isn't gonna wander off. I mean there's coyotes and snakes and all kinds of things out there that we don't want him around. And with this fence that we set up by satellite, it is awesome. Yeah, I really like that tracking feature too yes. when yes. when he does go. Um, the boundary that you set up is pretty accurate. Uh, it starts to sound when he gets within about 10 feet of the boundary. We have found really that the tone is all he needs. You've got to work with him. we got to do a little training. We spent maybe 15 minutes a day for a couple of days and he caught the hang of it right away. You can give him a, a little static shock if that's what you want to do, but we've opted not to do that. It's working just fine. He doesn't need that. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. If you want more information on this, check the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy trails. You bring out the best in me by your side. I'll forever be with a great big smile as big as the big blue ocean tide. La la la.